I'm just going to go into bedtime battles and how you deal with it. You can do this by about the age of two or two and a half, as soon as they're out of the crib. When my kids flopped out of the, the crib onto the floor, that's when I got rid of the crib and I just dismantled it. I used a mattress on the floor with pillows all around it. So here's what you do. You set up their room so it's pretty or has like those galaxy lights or a sound machine or something. And then you say, okay, you're going to stay in bed. You don't get out of bed. This is at bedtime. So you stay in bed. The first time they get out of bed, you say, no, it's bedtime. You put them back in bed. The second time they get out of bed, you say no. And then you put them back in bed. Or you can say bedtime. One word. Every time after that, you don't say anything. You just calmly, quietly, and slowly. Make it a bit of a production. Don't look at them either. Just sort of pick them up or just lead them back to bed and put them in bed. They might be screaming and having an absolute fit. It doesn't matter. Don't react to that. Just follow through with what you're doing. You are constantly putting them back in bed like this. You may have to go for an hour or several hours depending on the age, but eventually they'll learn. It's usually one night of hell. And I mean, it can go for hours, but they, the longer it goes, the bigger the battle, the, the bigger the rainbow at the end of it. So if there every scene, there's a, every scene means there's going to be a lesson at the end of it. Bedtime battles is usually one night of hell. And then often they never get up again. So the next night they just learned, they just learned, wait a minute, there's no point getting up because they're going to be putting me back in bed all night, night long. OK, so that's the bedtime battles. It's really important that you win those battles, those big ones, because that sets you up as a leader for all the other ones. Bedtime battles is one of my quickest fixes when I've got clients, because it is something that you can just usually do in one night. So how does that sound? Could you do that for hours? I've got lots of funny stories about clients going for hours and hours, cursing me out. <laughs> Darn that, Lisa, making us do this. But the kids just they just catch on to that.